Okay. <laughs> this is example one for uh, lesson uh, 3.2. And here we want to find the upper bound or the supremum and lower bound in femium for set S is a subset of all real numbers. State if supremum for set S and infimum for set S, R, and set S. In other words, the least upper bound and the greatest lower, lower bound. We're still looking for those. Okay, so here we have a set S is um, we have X is an element of set X such as set S such that X squared is less than 11. So we take um, X squared less than 11 and we apply the square root to that and we get plus or minus. 11. So that means x is going to be less than the square root of 11, but greater than the square root of a negative 11. So um, we uh, define b, so therefore we define, so if we're looking at this on a number line, Okay, here's our number line, and we'll call right here square root 11. So that's our least upper bound. But because it's x is less than square root 11, it's open. Okay, and so we have these other upper bound numbers, b1, b2, B3 and um, so on, but square root 11 is the least upper bound. And then on the other end, we have negative square root 11, and we have lower bound numbers A1, A2, A3, and so on where A continues on to the left, B continues on to the right. And um, so we're saying here that uh, B, B is an upper bound, is an upper bound uh, of set S if all elements in X that are element in set S all for all X that are element in set X there exists some number B such that uh, X everything in the set is less than B. So any number, any number, um, any number, let me put this here so you can see it, any number um, greater than B is also also upper bound. Okay, so B is the least upper bound. Okay, so that's our supremum. But we want to know, so our upper bound or our supremum upper bound is B element such that B is greater than the square root of 11. Okay, so our supremum is 
the, a positive square root 11. But is, is the supremum for set S, and so that's abbreviated, um, an element in set S. Well, if it's less than or greater than, the answer is no, because everything else here is set S, but these are open because it's less than or greater than. So it is not a part of set S. It would have to be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So the answer is no. They're not in set S. Okay. So continuing on with this, then um, the lower bound the lower bound of uh, our set S, A, elements A, is a lower bound, lower bound um, of set S if for all x that are elements in set S, there exists um, an A such that A is less than or equal to x. The greatest lower bound is the infimum the greatest, the greatest lower bound, lower bound, uh, is the infimum, is the infimum. Uh, okay, so the lower bound, lower bound, uh, of all elements and set A such that A is less than A is less than or equal to negative square root 11. So this would be uh, great, greater than or equal to square root 11 because we're all, that's A, that's part of A. Um, thus, the infimum, the infimum of set S is a negative square root 11. And we want to know is the infimum is the infimum for set S, um, an element of set S. And again, that would be no because they're open. Okay. So the reason why this is greater than or equal to this set for the upper bound, because all elements in B would include square root of 11 because B is the upper bound. So square root of 11 is in the upper bound, is the lowest upper bound, but it's not in set S. So it is included in the upper bound, but not in set S. So that's why it's greater than or equal to. And so for here, A is less than or equal to X because A is part of the lower bound. So negative square root of 11 is the greatest lower bound. And, and so that's why it's less than or equal to because it's included in the lower bound, but it's just not included in set S. Okay, so 
that concludes this video.